Question number 33 on the Unit 10 Test Review 2 worksheet. The object below is a rectangular prism with a smaller prism cut out of the center. What is the volume of the object? Well, we've got our object here with a lot of different dimensions. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what's being measured. We should be able to figure that out, though. And you can see from the top view class that this middle rectangular prism is being cut out of the larger prism. If we're cutting it out, that means we're going to remove it from the volume. So the strategy to find this volume of this shape is to find the volume of the bigger rectangular prism, the whole thing, and then find the volume of the smaller rectangular prism and subtract it from the bigger one to get our final volume. So let's work this out. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the volume of the big rectangular prism. All right, I know that the base, let's go ahead and label this. Well, the base is going to be, I'm going to just go ahead and pick the bottom here. There's my base. That means 12.4 and 7.8 are my dimensions of my base. That means 9 meters must be the height. My base is length times width, which is 12.4. That's not very neat. 12.4. 4 times 7.8. I'll put that in my calculator and I'll get 96.72 and that's meters squared. I've already circled the height which is 9 meters. That means the volume of my larger prism is base area times height which is 96.72 times 9 and that's going to be equal to I get 870.48 and that's going to be meters cubed. So there is my volume of my larger rectangular prism. Now that's fine. I'm going to run out of space here. Let's do this on the bottom. Let's find the volume of the smaller one. The smaller rectangular prism. Now you can see here, class, the height is actually the same. It's still 9 meters. Our dimensions for one of our bases, I'll pick the top as the base, is 1.8 times 3. So our base area for the smaller rectangular prism is still length times width which is 1.8 times 3, which is equal to 5.4 meters squared. Our height is the same as the larger prism, 9 meters. Our volume is base area times height, which is 5.4 times 9, and that is equal to 48.6 meters cubed. So now I know the volume of the larger piece and I know the volume of the small piece that's being cut out. So now to find my total volume my total volume is just going to be 870.48 minus because we're cutting it out. I've noticed some of you adding this minus 48.6. We could have put 0 here, but there is no 0. It's exactly 48.6. Put that in your calculator. 870.48 minus 48.6 equals 821. Is that 821? Yeah, 821.88. 821.88. So our final volume is 821.88 meters cubed. There's our first one. Next one is, we've got something that looks like a camera. The object below is a rectangular prism attached to a cylinder. What's the volume of the object? Well, this time we're not subtracting. We have a rectangular prism and a cylinder. We're adding those two things together. So we're going to follow the same procedure. First step is let's find the, air, the volume of the rectangular prism. Let's take a look. I can pick the bottom of this as a base. 
This 12 feet is the measure of this side right here. This 6 feet is the measure of this side right here. That makes this the height. So let's go ahead and do the base area, which is length times width. That's going to be 12 times 6, which is 72 feet squared. Our height, we circled it already, 14 feet. Our volume is base area times height, which is 72 times 14, and that is equal to 1,008 feet cubed. We just found the volume of the rectangular prism. Now let's go ahead and find the volume of this cylinder. So let's write cylinder right here. This is what I expect you guys always to do on a test. Some of you put all these numbers, all craziness all over the place. If you wake, make one mistake, I can't figure out what you've done and I can't give you credit for your work. Just label your work. I wrote here rectangular prism. I clearly am letting someone know that's where I'm doing my prism calculations. And then here's my cylinder calculations. It only takes you a few more moments to organize class and I'll tell you, you'll make less mistakes if you do that. Okay, so in this case, Let's pick, uh, I could pick either one of these circles as a base. And of that circle, you can see that this is the radius. That means the distance between the front circle or the base and the opposite face is four feet. So for our cylinder, our base area is a circle, pi r squared, which is pi four squared, which is 16 pi feet squared. Our height, we've already circled it, is 4 feet. Our volume is base area times height, which is 16 pi times 4. Let's put that in our calculator. 16 pi times 4 equals 201.06. We can drop the 1, the third decimal. So 201.6 feet cubed. Let's make that into a 6. And now we know our total volume, in this case, our total volume, we're not subtracting now, we're adding because we're not taking anything away. We're putting two known shapes together. So our total volume is going to be 1,008 plus 201.6. One thousand and eight plus two oh one point six. Oops, got that wrong. Let's backspace here. Where is a backspace key? I'm sure there is one. Here we go. Two oh one point six equals twelve oh nine point six. Twelve oh nine point six. You know what? I think this is not I think I made a mistake here. This is not 201.6. Let's try it again. 16 pi times 4 equals 201.06.06. That was a mistake. And that means this is 0 0.06. And now we can do 1008 plus 201. 0 0.06 equals 1209.06. There we go. 1209.06. So our volume is 1209.06 feet cubed. And that's the last question on our test review. If you can do all these problems, you are well prepared for the unit 10 volume test.